Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to see how we can install additional domain controller in existing Windows Server 2019 Active Directory domain. As you know that when we install and configure Active Directory domain services on Windows Server 2019, that server will be called a domain controller. You can add domain controllers to your domain as many as you want. So the question is, what is the purpose of adding another domain controller if already you have one? The answer is to provide fault tolerance and load balancing in Active Directory. Remember, all the domain controllers replicate Active Directory database with each other. So when you add a new domain controller to your existing domain, they automatically replicate Active Directory database with each other. So all domain controllers have the same Active Directory database. This test lab is created in a virtual box and we have two virtual machines both running on Windows Server 2019. First let's check our existing domain controller. This is our existing domain controller ws2k19-dc01 and our domain name is mylab.local. We have a single domain Active Directory forest with the name mylab.local. And the IP address you can see here it is 172.18.72.5 that is the IP address of our root domain controller. This is our second machine which is also running on Windows Server 2019 host name is ws2k19-dc02 and this server is currently part of workgroup. The IP address which is assigned to the server is 172.18.72.6 and already I have mentioned the DNS server's address as well. Let's check that. You can see I have assigned the preferred DNS server address that is 172.18.72.5 that is the IP address of our root domain controller. Fine. Let's close this. And the first thing which we are going to do is let's check network connectivity with our root domain controller. I'm going to ping to domain name ping mylab.local and as you can see we are receiving replay from the IP address 172.18.72.5 that means we have a network connectivity with our domain controller as well as our DNS server is responding properly. Let's close this console and now we can install Active Directory domain services server role on this server. To do that let's click on manage, select add roles and features, click on next on before you begin screen. Here we have to select role base or feature base installation. We have only one server and that is our local server in our server pool. So let's select it and click on next. Now I'm going to select Active Directory Domain Services. Let's click on add features and click on next. Next again, next again and click on install. As you can see, Active Directory Domain Services server role has been successfully installed on our server. Now we can promote this server to be an additional domain controller for mylab.local domain. Let's click on this link. On deployment configuration wizard, we need to select the first box which is add a domain controller to an existing domain. Now you can manually specify the domain name but you have to specify the credential to add this domain controller as an additional domain controller. So initially I'm going to specify the credential. Once you specify the credential, click on OK button. And here you can see now our domain name is populated automatically. Let's click on select. If you have multiple domains in your forest, from this console you can select the domain where you want to place this additional domain controller. Let's select mylab.local and click on OK. Click on Next. On Domain Controller Options page, as you can see, DNS is already selected because Active Directory need DNS server to work properly. And as you can see, the default site name is already selected because we have only one Active Directory site that is default first site name. Let's specify Active Directory Restore Mode Password and click on Next. Click on next. See as of now we have only one domain controller in our mylab.local domain. So I'm going to select replicate from our root domain controller that is ws2k19-dc01.mylab.local. Let's click on next. 
I'm not going to change the default path of Active Directory database, log files and syswall. Click on next. You can see your selection is there that you are configuring additional domain controller for mylab.local domain. A site will be default for site name and you are also installing DNS server rule as well. Let's click on next. All the checks has been passed successfully. Now we can start installation by clicking on the install button. Once the installation process complete, it will restart the server automatically. After restart, let's log in to our newly promoted domain controller. Let's specify the credential of our domain admin and press enter key. Okay, first of all, I'm going to open Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping on our additional domain controller. Let's expand mylab.local and let's click on Domain Controllers Container. You can see now we have a two domain controllers WS2K19-DC01 and WS2K19-DC02. Both are in a same site that is default first site name. Let's minimize it. I'm also going to check for DNS as well. So as you can see, we have a DNS server role installed on the server as well with the two active directory integrated primary DNS zone. Let's minimize it. The next thing which I'm going to check is about the replication. But before we check replication, I'm going to change certain settings. Let's click on local server. Let's click on uh, IP address. Let's select our Ethernet adapter. I'm going to click on properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on properties. Now the first thing which I'm going to change here is now we have a DNS server rule on this computer as well. So I'm going to change the preferred DNS server's IP address and I'm going to set that to local server's IP address. In alternate DNS server address, I'm going to specify 172.18.72.5 that is the IP address of our root domain controller. Let's click on OK and click on Close. Let's close this console as well. I'm going to do the same thing on our root domain controller as well. Let's click on IP address. Select Ethernet adapter, go for the properties, select Internet protocol version 4, again properties and here I'm going to specify alternate DNS server's address that is the IP address of our additional domain controller. Let's click on OK. Click on close and close this console. Let's move back to our additional domain controller. Now let's check our application between both domain controllers and for that we need to open Active Directory sites and services. Let's expand sites, expand default first site name, expand servers. Here you can see uh, both domain controllers are there. Now let's expand WS2K19 FNDC02. Let's click on NTDS settings, right click on it and let's check replication topology first. KCC service has uh, automatically generated the link from our root domain controller. Let's right click on it and go for the replicate now. Okay, as you can see Active Directory Domain Services has replicated the connection. Let's right click on NTDS settings. Let's select properties and click on connections. Here we have our two connections. Replicate from WS2K19 FNDC01 and replicate to. We have another link, uplink is there with the, that server as well. Okay. Let's do the same for our DC01 as well. But here you can see we have a certain more options compared to the local server. Let's right click here and select refresh and let's check automatically generated link. Fine. See both domain controllers are in a same site and we are on a virtual environment. That's why replication has been completed successfully very quickly. But we want to check one more thing that replication is happening quickly or not. For that, I'm going to open Group Policy Management Console. Right now, we are on our additional domain controller WS2K19-DC02. On Group Policy Management Console, let's expand Forest, expand Domains, expand MyLab.Local and expand Group Policy Object. On additional domain controller, I'm going to create new GPU. Let's give name TasteGPU1. 
let's click on okay fine we have created this gpo on our additional domain controller that we want to check if replication is happening successfully that means this gpo must be available on our root domain controller as well so on a root dc let's open group policy management console let's expand forest expand domains expand my root local and expand group policy objects you can see we have a taste gpo one let's create one more gpo here let's give name taste gpo2 click on okay and you want to check the same thing on our additional domain controller as well let's click on refresh and here we can see we have a taste gpo2 as well so both domain controllers are successfully replicating with each other let's close this console see you can also create users on one of the domain controller and you can check the same thing on other domain controller as well so this is the way how we can add additional domain controller to an existing Windows Server 2019 Active Directory domain. In the next video, we are going to see how we can deploy additional domain controller using install from media options. And that's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.